Here we have for sale our Novat Ford Transit Custom 290. That means this has got a 2.9 tonne gross vehicle weight. And what that means in real terms is just over a one tonne payload. It's the two litre TDCI 130 brake horsepower short wheelbase Euro 6 automatic trend van and what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around i'll show you the spec which is on this particular example because it, there are some over and above things on this uh, than just your standard trend so i'll talk you through those we'll also look at the condition service history etc as well seeing as it is available for sale at the time of recording so starting at the rear of the van uh, i mean first thing to note is the color this color is called deep impact blue in my opinion, and many would argue uh, that this is probably the best colour that you could get a transit custom in. They don't actually do this colour anymore, so uh, this is actually the last year where that was available on a transit custom. But yeah, a fantastic colour, looks good with lots of different sign writing or as a van for a private individual, which this one may suit being no VAT. Anyway, start at, at, at the rear of the van we've got rear barn doors, so what I mean by that are two doors which open in that sort of fashion. Uh, this one has had a rear spoiler fitted which is of course color coded in that deep impact blue and this one has also had which you'll see around the vehicle a number of elements which have painted or color coded uh, all to enhance the look of the vehicle. So on a trend as standard you wouldn't get color coded bumpers but this one has got the lovely color coded bumpers of course and this one has had a number of elements done in gloss black such as the door handles which you'll see around the vehicle as well. So that's the first thing to note at the rear of the vehicle here. Also this little trim here, that's all done in the color coded deep impact blue. Looking at the rear bumper, we have rear parking sensors just there. There is uh, a couple of little marks just there in the center of the bumper. We will touch those in in the correct touch up paint. Um, but otherwise that is all looking absolutely fantastic at the rear of the van. If we open up the rear then, we can have a look in the back here. And this is where what I feel is one of the best features of this van is how this van is lined in the back and the condition of it in the rear. So as we open up the rear barn doors, uh, you'll see these yellow arms. If you pull on those arms, they clip into place like that against the door. And that means then you can open up the door right out, both of them, to their 180 degree position. And that gives you then maximum accessibility into the rear and as well it it also allows me to show you uh, a little bit better in the back. So looking at the condition of the rear doors, I mean, the doors are in very, very nice order. All these painted elements here. I mean, you would have lots and lots of marks on these if this van had had a hard life. But as you can see, they're all in very nice order indeed. But then in the back of the van, uh, not only of course is it ply lined, but you've got this very nice non-slip flooring which is in fantastic condition it is i mean effectively as new it is in very very nice condition the floor nice aluminium strip as well and then you've also got these very nice uh, non-slip wheel arches and again same material but just a different color and I, I just think overall that does really really set the van off of course, ply lined on the side as well to stop any outward dents. And this van has got something which I've never seen on a van before, and that is a painted gloss black bulkhead. I've never seen that on a van before, but I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And it's starting to make me wonder why have I not seen it before? Because I think it does look really, really nice. If we open up the side loading door, maybe this gives you a bit of a, bit of a better look, but especially accompanying this lovely floor and the wheel boxes it just gives the van such a clean look uh, and certainly a lot more premium as well so i think that's uh, been done very very nice and as i say something i've never seen on a van before also in the factory fitted bulkhead you've got this opening hatch if you pull on that hatch it clips against the bulkhead like so via a magnet and what that allows you to do then is load right the way through there underneath the passenger seat so it gives you that extra load length perfect for those three meter lengths and again looking at the side loading door here this just gives you a chance to really take in the condition here you can see all the condition of the step it's all looking very very nice indeed we shut the doors one other thing uh, just to mention here uh, at the rear of course we've got plenty of tie down points here 
in the back you can see there above the wheel arch also at the bottom of the bulkhead you've also got a couple of uh, load lights as well there in the rear if we shut the rear doors uh, one other thing to mention here at the rear is we have uh, the previous owners had the uh, rear lights smoked um, so as a what I mean by that is just uh, this will be a uh, probably a film or a tint which has been put over the top of these just to give it a more of a sort of sporty look and that does I think tie in with things like the spoiler um, and as I say a number of these elements in gloss black as well moving then down the passenger side of the vehicle to have another really good look here at the condition and as you can see it is in absolutely fabulous condition throughout this vehicle of course it is a used commercial so there are going to be a couple of little marks which I'll show you things like that rear bumper but all in all in very very nice order something else that which has been added to this van are the very nice limited alloy wheels these are a 16 inch alloy wheel and they are from a new shape custom limited and as I say those have also been added and again I just think it really sets the van off very nicely as you can see then down the side of the vehicle you've got the color coded side moldings those gloss black handles there and you've also got gloss black door mirrors as well and the other thing which has been added are these wheel arch trims just here and they're not sort of wheel arch extenders or anything like that so as I say it doesn't make the wheel arches sort of stick out or anything like that but it's just a nice trim which as I say all ties in to this sort of subtle premium look of the van only thing to note on condition here which I can see down the passenger side is there is a very small I don't know if you can pick that up so if you can even see it in the reflection there maybe if I can get a better angle there is a very small little pin dent there see how that's just flicking up there in a very convenient place on my shadow uh, there's a very small little pin dent just there moving around then to the front of the van again a number of elements here which have been done in gloss black so if we get down to a lower level you can see that the front fog light surround has been done in gloss black uh, the grills as well so the top grill and where well, I was pointing there the top grill and this lower grill all been done in gloss black and of course we've got the color coded front bumper which would come as standard on a trend of course front fog lights you've got front parking sensors as well on a trend but all in all i think that is a stunning looking van and as i say in deep impact blue which the paintwork is in lovely order throughout tiny little stone stone chip and is that a stone chip no sorry it's just a bit of dust a couple of very small little marks here on this rear quarter some of these might actually polish out if i'm honest with you um, but all in all, as I say, paintwork, body condition, in absolutely lovely order. And one last thing to mention here on the outside is the brake calipers have been painted in red. And again, very subtle, you almost don't notice it, but uh, as I say, those have been painted in red. So again, just another nice little touch. Now then, let's have a look inside the cab. So, as we open up the driver's door, on top of the driver's door we have electric windows, we have electric folding mirrors, and that's how you operate those. You just put the switch down towards you. We've also then got auto-activated lights and wipers. You can see that we've got two full remote keys with this particular vehicle. Switches on the right-hand side here. This is where you can turn the stop-start on or off, and also the parking sensors on or off. We've got some storage here up on top of the cab, and that's where you've got uh, an AUX port, USB, and a 12-volt socket up there as well leather multi-functioning steering wheel on the right hand side here this is where you've got the radio controls and also you can answer and hang up the phone and then on the left hand side this is where you can control the onboard computer which is just up here in front of us and that's where we can see the mileage 19,297 miles so very very low mileage on this example you've also got cruise control down here which is a lovely feature to have and then if we have a look at the driver's seat, plenty of adjustability on a Transit Custom driver's seat. So we've got height adjustability here. This is adjustability of the front of the seat. Not sure if you can pick that up in the camera, but that's actually the front of the seat. Go up and down, they call that thigh adjustment. Of course, you've got back adjustment here, and then you've got a driver's armrest as well, which you can ratchet into position just there. Switch on the left-hand side of the instrument cluster then, and that is for the heated windscreen. That's the actual elements in the screen, not just the blowers and then what makes this van incredibly rare hard to come by not only the no vat element and the bits that have been added but the automatic gearbox very very unusual to find 
Um, as I say, I can't remember the last one that we had. Uh, as I say, this is not a van that we can easily replace. Lovely to find that with the automatic gearbox. Looking then at the radio controls up here, lots of people will be familiar with this radio because this is across the transit custom range. We've call, of course got the radio um, and then you, this is where you can also connect your phone as well. It gives you a screen up the top there. If I put the vehicle into reverse on these automatics, the button on the back of there, pull that in, push it down into, into reverse and that's where you can see you get the parking sensor display up there. It's just flashing me because I've put it into gear with the door open. Looking at the centre seats then, we've got the nice fold-down work tray with a couple of cup holders and somewhere to store your paperwork. You've also got storage then underneath the passenger seats as well, so if you just pull the seat up at the front like so and then, as I say, you can flip them right forward. I've also brought this into the van and this is the service history, so we've got a lovely service history. Even though it's only done uh, 19,000 miles, uh, just short of 19,300 miles, we've got a lovely service history just here as well. Uh, and as you can see with uh, Hendy uh, Auto Group, which is a Ford main dealer, and then a Halfords Auto Centre as well. So very, very nice to find that with the van also. Just down here, we've got a 12 volt socket just there. Uh, as I say, generally inside the cab, condition is absolutely spot on. There's no uh, rips, tears, cigarette burns, anything like that on the seats. Uh, you can really see with the seats there's no excessive wear or anything like that nothing that would um, you know all in line with its mileage as you would expect so just to summarize this is a novat ford transit custom trend automatic it's got the two liter tdci 130 brake horsepower engine short wheelbase finished in deep impact blue with a lovely host of tasteful um, extras or add-ons including the limited alloy wheels, colour-coded bumpers, we've got uh, gloss black elements such as the mirrors, door handles, grills and front fog light surrounds. We've also then got the rear spoiler, number of elements on here, lovely in the back as well with that non-slip flooring and we've also got a nice service history to accompany it as well. If you'd like to inquire on this lovely van please feel free to give us a call on either of the numbers listed here at the bottom of the sign. We can arrange finance on all of our vehicles, starting as low as 7.9% APR. And that uh, we can also arrange finance for limited companies or private individuals. So a wide range of situations and credit scores. And we can also take cars or vans in part exchange and we can deliver our vehicles nationwide as well. So any other questions you have, as I say, please feel free to give us a call or alternatively, you can contact us on the Contact Us page via our website as well. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe on YouTube if you're watching this video on YouTube as well for more videos to come. Thank you very much.